this gentleman right here drove his snowmobile from Wichita Falls to Frederick, stopping here to get gas, and is on his way to Lawton, possibly, possibly the refuge, and then he still has to get back home. And he's on a snowmobile. Imagine him riding a snowmobile in Frederick, Oklahoma. I told him we had a lot of great places where you could go, but I don't want the guy to freeze. I'm freezing just watching him. What's your name again, my friend? What? What's your name again? What's that? I said, what's your name again, my friend? Todd. To oh, th Todd's the best name. Have you ever read, know what Todd means? Fuck. Look up in the dictionary. Oh, really? Of, in the urban dictionary of what Todd means. Because you're, you're, you're selling Todd right there, man. Like you have went Todd and your name is Todd. That's awesome. Urban Dictionary. Look up Todd. It'll surprise you. Right. Todd's the guy that everybody wants to be around. Todd's the crazy dude. Only this is amazing. Only in Frederick, Oklahoma do you see this shit. At, at Dad's Convenience Store. Hey, run it live. Put. Make sure it's at Dad's. I got four people watching. I know it's really not shit to anybody. And I probably should be home. I don't know if I scared the guy off or what. I got so excited. I, I want to see him drive it. He said it'll go on concrete. Like it, it's got everybody out here in trees. I guess it's the rubber is what keeps it, you know, where he can stay on some of the concrete. That's, I wonder how much that thing's worth, man. It's probably worth quite a bit of money. Yeah, probably about seven, maybe about 30000 Well, think about this, man. He doesn't have anybody following him or nothing. He just has a backpack on his back. I sure wish I could, like, give him the key to my boathouse or something so he could sleep warm. But I don't, he said, he, I think he said he t it took, I think. He's got to. Are you serious? Yeah. I mean, he told me, I think he told me he wrote it in from Texas. Well, I can believe he probably wrote it in from Texas, but the, it's actually from New Hampshire, but it's beautiful here. Does it, is it tagged there? I mean, I, I guess uh, it's tagged. I see a tag. Uh, I can see the tag over there, or, or the other side of the tag. Yeah, he he he's got people people watching him. He's ready to get the heck out of here. I don't want to scare the guy. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna drive a block and see if I can't catch him when he leaves. I'm going back to him. He was kind. He was kind of acting sketchy because of all the people that uh, were starting to look at him, and then I was asking his name and all that other stuff, just trying to be, you know, goofy or funny. But I don't know. It like literally looked like he went back into the store because he was kind of scared. So I'm gonna take another look, hopefully, and maybe maybe he'll have passed by that point or he's already filled up so I'm, I'm gonna try to keep it posted I'm not very interesting right now because that, that shit is crazy to me first snowmobile I've ever seen in the state of Oklahoma and I've only been skiing once look there he is right there
If that dude wasn't older, I'd feel like a pedophile. And excuse me, everyone, I've never done a live stream. Keep watching, guys. I mean, no way he could be just sitting there waiting and warming up. Shit, he just drove from Wichita Falls. And now it looks like he's lighting a square. Wow, this is crazy. That people actually got the gold to do something like this. All right, here he goes. This is wild. Oh, a couple of meds to take down. That's a fair necessity, especially in something like this. I'd smoke a joint with them if I had it. Sorry, slowing everything's slowing down. I'm definitely on the pedophile list, I think, for this guy. Damn. Damn. That was me five years ago. Come on, guy. You took your meds. Got your shit together. I know it's uncomfortable being in a different state and somebody watching you. Look, I'm going to turn my camera away for a minute. Damn, he's killing his drink. I don't know what he's drinking. He better be drinking us. Spark that heats your entire body up because I don't know how this dude made it here. I think he said two and a half hours maybe that it took him here from Wichita. Three maybe. All right, here we go. He's back. He never left. I'm going to point the shit. You think this lunatic is just going to sit here and wait me out? Come on, guy. I didn't know that those things could run for quite a while on the concrete. Seemed like he was a really nice guy. And what's even crazier about it is his name is Todd. And if anybody looks up Todd in the dictionary, 
the Urban Dictionary anyway. Look it up and see who Todd is. Oh, Todd's getting geared up. Every person, probably the 12, 14, 15 people I've had watch this, they've been Todd. They just might not know who Todd is. But this guy is Todd, and his name is actually Todd. That's for Charlie Sheffield. Jeremy Aiken. Here he goes. He started her up. Brett, I hope you get on this. Scott, this is crazy. I was supposed to be home a while ago. There he goes. This cra oh, shit, he's fucking crazy. Hold on, I gotta zoom out. I gotta zoom out. Shit. I don't know how I flipped the camera open. Over. Fucking flip the view. Excuse my language. I'm probably gonna get pulled over for this. There he is, right there, smashing. Turn my lights on, thank God, I got pulled over. If anybody has ever seen anyone drive a snowmobile in Oklahoma, please uh, let me know because this is crazy. And if he's only going that fast, I can only imagine how long it's taking. I'm doing 10 miles an hour right now, and I'm staying steady with this guy. No problem. I've tried to get other people in to watch with me and comment, but I, like I said, I'm not very good at this, um, uh, this live thing. And then not only that, Chance went live at the same time as me, which has a lot of friends of mine and a lot of viewers, which Chance, you know I'll watch yours anyway. But to see this, I'm going to end up getting pulled over for this guy riding a damn, oh, snowmobile. There he goes right there. I don't know if he stopped right there because he got nervous or scared. But I'm going to hit the block one more time to see what he's doing. Yeah, he, he started. So I'm going to harass him for maybe five minutes more. Shit, that's a fucking upgrade for Danny. It's like having a Datsun and then getting a Mercedes. He's, he's definitely not taking back roads and I don't think he's going to be happy when he sees me coming back behind him again. Hopefully he makes it. It's a lot and without a problem. Damn, he got moving when I left. Smashing out towards United. He's going a little bit faster than what I thought he was. But just the sides of this, I mean, that's not much snow at all. 
Like I said, I've never ridden a snowmobile, but this is definitely a unique experience. I see my uh, people dwindling. Like he don't know I'm behind him right now. tried to get him to go out where me and my buddies just over there by my house to just go up and tear the field up. Could at least be a decent guest to Frederick and escort him out since I went and waited for all this dumb stuff as my mom and dad are waiting for me to get home. Oh, he ducked that tree. He damn near busted his head. Almost got his ass. Don't hurt yourself, fella. You got a long trip. He said, he said no hotel, no nothing. He just, he'll, he'll drive it out. He's got a tent in his backpack if he has to. He's done this his entire life all over. Charlie Stone, you think you could do a backflip on that thing? I know Lyle could. Oh, shit, he just hit the fucking dust. He just hit it. He just hit the fucking dust. You all right? You sure? That looked like a pretty hard one, man. You, did you run into something? Yeah, it's pretty dangerous around here. What was that? What? Oh my gosh, that's a water tank. Isn't it? Was that a wa is that a water tower? Yeah, I think so. Man, that's crazy. I was just following to make sure you made it safe out of here. Ooh, gotta be careful. I know that that's why I was because this this is probably the worst when it comes to yeah. random bumps and hills. I, I hope it didn't mess up your bike or anything. I mean, you was just a glide, and then boom. Thank God. Well, you ain't going to have no curves when you hit out on that highway. But I think the parking, or the walkway is like right there, a couple of feet from where you're at on the right. so hard. It was like when Charlie, when we were at the Frederick Lake, it was like when you hit the sand, it was just a complete shit. Uh, it, like, I feel like it fucking sucks. Felt bad for him. Now he's got it started. It was pretty funny, though. Especially the way he's been talking about his his snowbow or snowbow snow fuck I can't even say any snowmobile experience let's see where he goes 
leave me some comments. Somebody tell me to do something. Did anybody see that dude fly and hit the curve? He flew off his fucking... His machine. That was crazy as shit. And he was hurt. Like he hit that thing going full speed. And he didn't even go over the top of it. His legs and everything else hit so hard. It threw him to the right. The views weren't aren't important. This is. Yeah, well, this isn't important either. But gosh, this is funny. And then that really helped it. So whoever dropped out when they stopped watching me, you missed some funny shit. I don't know this guy. I'm just following him, Vino. Can y'all hear me? Somebody tell me if they can hear me or not. I'm in the fucking highway. About to get hit, ran over by an 18-wheeler. I'm on 183 heading to my house. He's he he's heading out the Al Alco way. Oh shit, now, now he done found, found us some snow and some soft spots. Sorry I'm talking so much, guys. Now I want to see this dude act out like he said he would. I gave him an entire field to go run, run amok on him. Oh shit, it did. He, man, it ate that ate that snow right there. I guess rocks and snow are a lot different. I don't know how many people's passed me. Oh shit, he almost lost it again. Here's another curve. Oh shit, he don't know nothing about the Alco parking lot. Need to tell him. This parking lot right here has a big dip in it, so be safe on that. Shit, I just realized we're at the nursing home, not the Alco. He's gonna, oh shit, he's gonna bust ass on that curve. Oh, here he goes. Come on, guy. Don't hurt yourself, but do something fun. Well, he's about made it. There goes our Wow, that snow is deep and he's still having problems. And y'all seen the speed that he's going. He's got a long night ahead. I don't get to get out much. Wow. That thing is not going anywhere. He might have just completely screwed his shit up. And just didn't want to say anything. It, uh, I'm afraid the guy's going to end up stopping. He ain't got nowhere to go. So that's it. That's the uh, snowmobile driver of Frederick. Sorry for the awesome, horrible content in audio and my commentating. But please share with everybody this video from the crazy part to where he got his ass thrown straight off of that son of a bitch only in Frederick, Oklahoma.